Yo, this is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be watching back this game that I played on stream and Unlimited last night where I played against a guy using a Zen. Uh, before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Try to hit that mark by the end of the month of um, February. So I'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, um, yeah. Let's hop right into it. Let's see what this, um, how this game went, man. The reason I say this dude was using, I guess it's not a Zen. I think it's called a Titan, but I don't know a ton about it. Is because he literally didn't miss an open shot the whole game. Y'all will see what I'm talking about. Great start by me knocking down a three ball with Oscar Robertson to start off the game. But the shots this dude hits uh, without missing a single open shot the whole game is pretty ridiculous. Y'all say, is it possible theoretically that this dude isn't using a Zen? Yes. Is it likely? No. First possession of the game, coming off of a screen, fading with KP, I'm immediately a little suspicious because then there's a pop-up that says he's shooting 71% from three. That's ridiculously high, even in my team. So I see that and I'm like, okay, question mark. Uh, immediately like intrigued. First possession of the game, you come off a screen with utter confidence and shoot a very tough shot with KP. That is not an easy shot without takeover. Uh, and that's a confident shot first possession, but you're like, eh, whatever. Then you see 71% and you're like, okay, that's a little suspicious. That's really crazy good shooting, even for an elite level player. That one is left wide open, open catch and shoot. Not great defense there by me, 100%. I am fully aware. Uh, left the open pop open there can't conclude anything off of that that's just a wide open shot that he knocked down so good job by him for hitting that one this dude is not a bad player i will say that you see with both the offense that he plays and the defense he plays he's not clueless um and he knows what he's doing on this game for sure and this game does not wind up being uh it winds up being a very close game and an exciting game honestly i'm not going to tell y'all who wins but y'all will see it does wind up coming down to the stretch very good game that is great defense and he gets an offensive rebound kick out another wide open shot another wide open make Again, you can't be too suspicious so far because only one of those wide open shots is actually a tough shot. And yeah, whatever. It's annoying that he just got three points off of an offensive rebound on a shot that he missed himself. That annoyed me, but it is what it is. And we do draw a foul there, able to go to the free throw line. I tried to get a stick dunk on that possession, but I didn't get it. Uh, and yeah, we go to the free throw line here with an opportunity to tie up the game. Um, not the greatest game star so far, but oh yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this shot he hits. This is when I really start to go, okay, hold on. I think he's definitely using a Zen. This is the shot that goes, that makes me go, okay, I'm intrigued. Look how, look where he's shooting from. Fading away with KP with no takeover. Not an easy fade animation either. It's a different fade animation. Look where he's shooting from. This is not an ungreenable shot without takeover, without, without a Z or whatever, without cheating. But it is a really hard shot to shoot. And he just drills it with complete confidence coming off the screen. And I'm immediately like, oh, hold on. And you'll see my, my uh, comments, same thing. This dude language, but yeah, no, no, it's a little, a little suspicious immediately. We already, we, we quickly become a little suspicious on this way, the way that this dude is playing, um, because it's definitely a little bit suspicious. It is uh, wide open mid range for Tyson Chandler. He knocks it down, cuts it to a one point game, and uh, we can skip ahead here a little bit. He scores this next possession on a dribble drive dunk. I have to play unfortunately very high on this dude all game because I wind up realizing that I'm just gonna have to deny every single three point opportunity. Uh, otherwise, he's literally just gonna get threes off every play if he can just run and fade and hit ridiculous absurd shots every play. Open three ball, Kobe gets. It's a great look greens and i'm playing well to start off this game to be honest on the offensive end of the court moving well offense is flowing pretty well so can't be too mad about that um i don't feel like i'm playing badly at all to start off this game good defense here the thing about using uh playing as somebody with a zen and it's something i probably definitely could have done better in this game honestly is x switching more effectively off of pick and rolls and stuff and trying to give the two a little bit more i don't feel like that was a great possession by him he just ran around in a circle and his player cut to the rim and got behind kp and got himself a dunk so I guess, whatever. Um, not able to find a way to get stops so far in this game, unfortunately, at least not with a consistent level. But Michael Beasley coming off the screen, gets downhill to the rim and gets himself a dunk. Oscar comes right back and gets himself a dunk. I don't need to show literally every single possession this game, I don't think. I forced him to step high there, dubbed it down to Tyson Chandler, a really good dunk by me. And we're going right back and forth, man. Just at this point, I'm trying not to give up anything super easy with KP because I know he's just trying to come off screens. And if he gets separation, he's going to try to dunk it. Or he's just kind of going to try to fade, knock down the three. Um, because, again, he's going to green every single open shot. And um, good move here with Oscar. Oscar gets to the rim, but he did a good job pop defense-wise of not helping off of Beasley there. And Jonathan Isaac plays good defense. And I'm a little caged here, a little bit, to be completely honest. This is not a beautiful possession, but I do think the result winds up being okay. I forget. Uh, oh, yeah. He shoots this weird fadeaway crab shot, but it goes down. Good shot by Oscar. It ties the game up at 20. Here we go again. He's just going to try to count the screen. Unfortunately, I didn't next switch at that time. He fades again with KP and hits his third fade of the game without takeover in the first quarter. 
He has again, still not missed an open shot all game. So I'm sitting here just like, oh my lord, this is just miserable. He's got to take over with KP now. I got to try to step out on KP and not give anything up because, you know, he's going to go directly to that pick and pop. And he immediately does, calling KP over. I'm playing the pop. Oh, I forgot. My CP or Michael Beasley fouls from the corner there and gives up two more points on free throws for no reason again. But <clears throat> I don't know. Seven seconds left in the in the quarter. I come here, Kobe. That's not an easy shot. And I green it. That is a tough freaking look. And I'm playing well to start off this game, to be completely honest. Kobe has a lot of points. Uh, my offense has flowed very, very well. It's just not able to get any sort of defense going so far. He calls a timeout to get a shot. And this is one of the only threes he misses all game because I got a contest and it got slowed down. And it wasn't a good shot. That is one of the only threes he misses all game right there, though, is that one at the end of the first quarter. And you can see already that it's just it's going to be tough to get stops playing against somebody who can literally hit every single shot like this is not human at this level of shooting ability. Good defense here with KP. Um, let's see how he gets a bud. To, oh, yeah. He throws it at my face with a bead and then goes up with a bad layup. That was a great X switch. I actually played it really well. I thought manually with KP, too, and he took up a bad take and got rewarded. I was annoyed when he made that one. That one was one, was one I complained about a little bit, I think. Good move by Kobe. Kobe gets back to the rim and gets himself another dunk. Kobe is just carrying the offense right now. 14 points. Uh, he misses on his offensive possession. I'm like, I'm going right back to Kobe if I can. Um, I, I had the shot there. I probably should have shot it with Oscar to be completely honest. He didn't really step up, but really nice move by Kobe. I probably could have shot that first one. Instead, I stopped, and that works great too. Great offense, great pass, and unfortunately, I miss wide open. That hurts too because that's really nice offense. I feel like I'm flowing really well on the offensive end of the court. He gets bailed out by a freaking garbage foul call because the game just calls garbage fouls. Luckily, he misses at least one of the free throws, but... It is what it is. Uh, it's just annoying there that I got a wide open look with KP and wasn't able to hit it. Uh, pump fake here with Kobe. He's off balling right now, and he's still off balling, which means I'm gonna get the, get him into the screen, get a fade, and knock that one down as well. And Kobe has 17 points out of my 30 so far. We got a two point lead with three minutes left, or three and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Um, let's see how does. Oh yeah. Uh, what happens here on this possession? Oh, he gets me into... Yeah, he just runs around in a circle again and fades again with KP. Um, this dude is just fading every single time and knocking down some ridiculous shots. Um, again, like, is it possible he's not sending? Theoretically. Is it likely? No. Nobody hits that many shots in a row. Tough shots with... Especially with, like, not... Like, the, not that KP's fade is horrible, but with without an elite-level fade animation. He throws a slip, gets a dunk, and he's up by three, unfortunately. It just is really tough to get stops against his end because you have to play everything so perfectly. Uh, you can you can win against people using this. I have won against Zens before. You can certainly win against it. Um, but it is really, really tough because you literally have to pretty close to switch every single screen to stop three-pointers. Um, and I just back to our cut there. Kobe gets himself a dunk. We'll take that. Uh, but it's just, it's tough. It's tough. I'm expecting him here. I'm like trying to see if I can get him just stop and beat. He back doors and goes up with another one and finishes through contact. Paul George finishing at the room. And I'm kind of a little annoyed. Honestly, I was, I was a little annoyed playing this game because I felt like I was getting unlucky with the animations. The animations were favoring my opponent and obviously he's cheating as well. So that's not something I'm a huge fan of, but Oscar, great burst, great open three ball. I'm playing quite well offensively flowing really, really well. This game, just doing a good job of mixing it up with the way that I'm using my screens and rejecting the screens effectively which is something that can be pretty useful especially against heavy on ball and that's really good X switch out the corner there with Michael Beasley as well overall this has been a really solid game by me great defense there I play the slip perfectly and I get the steal and it's really really good defense stop on the break not a horrible shot it wasn't open but I missed it unfortunately good board by Tyson but uh, that's a little bit disappointing there that I missed that shot uh, trying to reject the screen here trying to create some space it's just not there and Kobe's a little bit gassed too so leading to a rough possession honestly that just just does not result in points not our best possession in the world wide open through paul george you know if he's open there is no chance he's ever going to miss it, it doesn't actually wind up being wide open nine percent but it goes in anyway does not surprise me again the light you will hit a lot of light leads with the zen as well that's going to happen um so having a lot of fun so far I, it's a good pop he gets an open shot and i miss it again that's two opens and a wide open that i've missed in the last few possessions uh which is pretty tough couple of pretty good looks that i wasn't able to knock down he gets a mid-range fade with kp because i'm trying to play the pop reach for it don't get the steal and he gets open and again he's gonna hit the shot because again he's never gonna miss an open shot like i said 
when you make this many shots, that's not normal human. It's just not logical. Human error comes into play. People miss open shots. It happens. You're not going to make literally every single shot. This dude is literally making every single shot. And I know that that's just not normal. Um, but at the same time, good. I know that was not good defense. I, I hoped Kobe could get myself some sort of anchor stop or something, some sort of missed dunk animation or whatever. But not great defense there. And we're down by five, 43 seconds left. Like, have I played a perfect half? No. Um, but at the same time, it definitely, it's annoying when it feels like you're fighting literally against, like, playing against this type of stuff can just be really frustrating because you're playing against yourself and you're playing against the, well, the, your opponent cheating. Like, it, it not just your opponents having a certain amount of skill or whatever. Uh, dribble drive there. Oscar gets to the mid-range, end of the possession, pull up mid-range, does knock it down. Cuts it to a three-point game with 23 seconds left in the half. He winds up going and getting himself a shooting foul and getting a free throw at the line. He misses one free throw but knocks one of them down. And Scotty gets wide wide open i th oh no he didn't get uh, this was not the possession he got wide open i thought that was the possession he got wide open adam morrison winds up getting an and one and we hit the free throw that's a w cut to get to a one point game with six seconds left in the first half he tries to go to the rim and does go to the rim somehow what is him into thompson doing there on defense i literally have no idea but he plays that matador d luca gets a finish and unfortunately that means instead of a one point game at half it is a three point game at half which is annoying lots of annoying fluky stuff kind of going up going against us in this game it feels like but it is what it is um and i think i get a stop to start the second half i can't really remember but well, uh, yeah, we do. We get a block right there. Not sure if that was a man or throw that got the block, but I really like Scottie Pippen's playmaking ability. I think he actually moves quite well, um, and uh, I, I feel like you can. I can actually use his burst very effectively, create a lot of shots, do a great job at a get, and I miss another open shot. I've missed like three opens and a wide open in the past couple minutes of gameplay, and that winds up does that wind up costing me yes i mean those are open shots that i should have made and i i can't blame the game for that type of stuff you know what i mean for whatever is frustrating me that's not something i can make an excuse for i do draw a foul there not probably the best take in the world either but i will take the foul call go to the free throw line able to get a couple points and uh good rotation here i do a good job of playing two very effectively with pimpin out the corner uh pick up serge Ibaka really well and he fades for three with serge Ibaka and hits that too again any sort of open space He's going to be green. And again, people who don't cheat, don't shoot phase with Serge Ibaka, at least normally. Like, that's not a common shot that you're going to see, but he's, he's he's bombing anything. Anytime he has any sort of space, it's going up. No matter who the player is, no matter what the type of shot is, he is shooting the ball, uh, which is annoying. But it is what it is. What are you going to do, right? Good wall of defense here by uh, Thurl Bailey. Thurl Bailey plays a really solid defensive, a couple defensive possessions actually against Roy Hibbert in this game. Uh, but this is certainly a good one here. And then he finishes it out with a really really nice wall up in the paint very good defense it gets himself a paint stop and a board love to see that out of thorough i really do like thorough as a card still i wish he was a little more complete badge wise but i think he's a really good card driving to the rim here scotty gets downhill gets to the finish and he is uh we're only down two now pause pause this real quickly let's just pause it just to show you all the team comparison so far he has missed two three-pointers both of which were contested by me and those are the only ones that he has missed are ones that were manually contested by me Outside of that, he has made eight three-pointers, including like four or five really tough fades. He's shooting incredibly efficiently, um, and it's it's tough to stop. Like, I don't feel like I'm playing bad. I've made some good shots. I've missed a couple of open-ish shots, but I'm 5 of 10, and I feel like I'm playing pretty good, shooting relatively efficiently. I know I've missed some shots, but I am human. I make mistakes. Do I need to get better as a shooter? Maybe, but unfortunately, we are in a little bit of a spot of trouble there. And it's a four-point game with three minutes left in the third quarter at this point. I've managed to keep the game close, which is good. But struggling a little bit to uh, have consistent uh, stops. It's just, it's, it's tough to defend. It really is. It's super duper tough to defend against this type of stuff. This dude's hard off balling here right now with Carmelo. I reject the screen pretty well, but I don't manage to get in the paint well enough to create enough space. Um, guys are open here, but nobody really. And then he jumps and gets a contest and winds up getting a stop. It's just... The spacing isn't quite where I need it to be. I need more sort of space, more up a little bit higher on the court towards the hash. Uh, and then he finishes that with Roy Hibbert as well. Not a six-point game, just annoying. Like, it doesn't feel very skillful, but not a lot you can do about that. Um, well, it's not very skillful. The, the device is literally shooting for him, and that's I would not consider that very skillful. I should have shot that with Adam Morrison. I was open. I take a bad take instead, and I get blocked again. And I'm just a little flustered at this point. I'm not even going to lie. He scores again, makes it an eight-point game. I miss again. And then he comes right back down and hits a three. And now it is an 11 point game with a minute 27 left in the third quarter. Not ideal. Got a little bit flustered and let him go on a little bit of a run there. And he does manage to take the lead. By the way, let's go back real quickly. Let's just see what the three pointer that he shot was. I don't even remember, to be honest. Uh, Carmelo here. That's uh, a pop to, 
to uh, Thurl. He throws it over to Luca. Oh, this is another fade. Yeah, he gets me caught in the screen. He fades from limitless range again, and he doesn't miss. This dude never misses fades. He doesn't miss tough shots. He is He's a demon, and he is the best. Um, literally the best shooter I've ever played. And that's because he's cheating. But if he wasn't cheating, I'd be very impressed. I'm not going to lie. Um, great move by Pippen there. Gets to the rim. Gets himself in a pretty easy standing duck. Uh, but now we're down by nine with a minute 15 left in the quarter. So it's not really exactly what you're looking for in the third quarter to end it. But we do get a steal in transition. Get ourselves a standing dunk. Fourth throw. Bailey cutting it to a seven-point game. He takes another bad contested shot. I get the board here. I don't remember why I paused it. I, there's a reason I paused it. But I don't remember what that reason was. Um, push cross here with the men Thompson. Getting ourselves a wide open mid-range. I'm, I'm playing pretty well for the most part outside of a that rough patch that we just had there i feel like i've played pretty well in this game on the offensive end of the court done a good job for the most part of flowing my offense relatively well uh and he's just running around in circles and going up with bad takes like a euro step into the rim not a great take uh kind of annoying but it is what it is with eight seconds left i know i kind of have to play this uh, the best i can defensively and that is about as good as i can do we do manage to get ourselves a contest there with scotty pippen we drive to the rim and i try to stick dunk with amen thompson and i get a layup animation missing the layup obviously and five point game with five minutes left in the game 57 to 52 i start the ball i start the fourth quarter with the ball though with an opportunity to take the or not take the lead but cut it a little bit and we cut it down to three now so 57 54 he comes right back gets a standing dunk with oscar robertson so it's 59 to 54 um and i don't even remember what i did here oh i should have shot that i had a wide open three ball with Amin thompson and i was hesitant to shoot it because i didn't want to get in trouble with the i didn't want the game to screw me adam morrison moves off that screen really well nice kobe burst there gets off the screen jonathan isaac a little behind and we're able to knock down that shot cutting it to a two-point game now i did not mean to do that that was an accident uh i did not mean to fat finger my middle button and unfortunately by the time i will recover to it out of it I'm not able to get a contest with Earl Bailey. He knocks down yet another open shot. If it's open, you know he's going to make it. Speaking of it's open and making it, I finally make an open shot there. Scotty Pippen knocking that one down. I've had a few good looks that I've missed over the last quarter and a half or so, and hoping to not have that be the case in the fourth quarter, obviously. Got to bring the starters in the game pretty soon. He's looking for that mid-range fade there. Nothing is open at all. You know he's looking for the fade, though, because that's how he can create the separation. He's trying to create as much separation as possible, and he freaking dunks all over Thurl Bailey's face. I don't hate that defensive possession. Felt like it was a pretty good one. And honestly, he just got a good dunk animation. Like, with X2, not even stick dunking or anything. So, that one gets on my nerves a little bit there. And then I get, I get an illegal screen with Earl Bailey. And I'm just like, come on, bro. This game just did not feel like it was favoring me. Honestly, algorithmically, I felt like I was the one getting more unlucky. Which is not the way I feel like it should ever be. Especially against somebody who's cheating. But, oh well. He does get to the rim there. No block. Oscar Robertson finishes the dunk. Five-point game. I... Do I believe score? Oh yeah, he helps. He overhelps too high with uh, Paul George, and I hit that little hash area right there. Uh, Michael Beasley knocks down the three ball there. He's got one of the best releases in the game, and that's what his value definitely is. Um, trying to play off the pop there and recover. I do a good job of recovering there. We're right up on KP. This is a great defensive possession. X switch in the screen. Trying not to give anything up. Um, going under. Just just making him work, man. No open looks is basically the whole goal here. I think this is where he hits a complete BS shot. I think. Yes, this shot right here. I was pissed. I'm not even going to lie. I was pissed. That was a terrible shot. I actually switched it. I played so high. I could test it and everything. And there's just nothing I can do. He's just cheating at the game. And the sin winds up working there and giving him a green window that he does knock down. Terrible shot. He gets rewarded for it. I'm heated, but there's not a lot I can really do about it. 67 to 63 game with two and a half minutes left. We still have an opportunity to win the game. Uh, and I'm doing the best I can. Getting off the screen again there, knocking down yet another three ball with Michael Beasley. Able to get that shot to go. The fact that he just scored in that last possession, though, is 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 pretty heartbreaking there. The fact that I play a perfect defensive possession and don't get rewarded with the stop, then he just goes up with another bad take and gets rewarded again with a bad with a foul. Like it's just it's the game is so so luck based it's kind of sad because i have outplayed this opponent he's cheating i've outplayed him the whole game and unfortunately it did it, it's luck placed luck based in a lot of ways but i should have shot that that one was wide open with kobe that's on me can't make any excuses on that can't blame the game for my own inability to shoot my wide open shot my own lack of confidence i guess um he comes right back down here and i think yeah he does get a three ball off here why does he get a three ball off is this my mistake here that he gets the three ball off of or what um yeah, because I didn't mean to help that high with Kobe, but I just like, I don't even know why I went so high with Kobe. I don't think I really wanted to help that high, but we give up a wide open three to Paul George that he does knock down. A minute 40 left now, down by four. Um, could have potentially tried to stop and pop there with Oscar, but again, I'm a little bit worried about him stepping up and contesting. That's a great fade, and I miss it. 
I mean, at the end of the day, I missed five or six wide open shots that I could, well, open or wide open shots that I could have made and that would have basically won me the game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that is the case. And unfortunately, I can't really blame the game for that regardless. There might be some stuff that I can blame the game for, but I'm not sure that's one of them. Good defense here. Honestly, switching around, scrambling as much as possible, doing the very best we can defensively. Three seconds left. I am in a really good defense spot here. We finally actually do get a stop, although he still greens the post hook. Like, just green, 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 green. Luckily, it doesn't count, but four-point game with a minute left. In order to win this game or have a chance to win this game, we are going to have to score, and we're going to have to score quickly. And look at Oscar drawing a three-point foul. You love to see it. TGL, a little bit lucky, finally. Something goes my way, and Oscar draws the foul, manages to get three free throws and cut it to a one-point game, 55 seconds left. I wanted to play that pop with KP. He didn't reach, didn't play it, but that's okay. Really good defense here, except for this dude just running around in circles and fading again with Embiid, because he knows he's never going to miss if he's open, so he just runs away from me. Manages to get enough separation there where he can shoot the fade, and he hits the fade. Again, there's a huge skill gap in this game, and he is not the better player. But it is what it is. Uh, not a lot I can do about that part. Good fade by Kobe. Mid-range fade. Little midi bucket night there. 36 seconds left. Got to get a stop here. I know I got to get a stop, and I know what I'm going to as well. Uh, clicking on here. We step up with KP a little bit contest and i think he goes pick and roll i think i think i x switch this, and that's what happened yeah i x switch it and play it with kp great x switch great user defense to be honest maybe i should have held for last shot here but down by one i just decided to take my transition dunk and a 75 74 lead with 14 seconds left final possession of the game for him offensively and he i play great defense i play great defense i play great defense i play great defense and i didn't x switch it should have X switched it. I could have switched Kobe onto KP there, and I think I could have gotten in front of him with Tyson, but I tried to chase with Kobe. And I give the dunk 2.4 seconds left. We have an opportunity for a game winner here, and I'm going to try my dang best to get one. Um, and here we go. Kobe Bryant coming around the edge, um, throwing it down to him and tries to drive to the rim. I honestly thought that was open, and he just gets a block unfortunate i thought i was gonna get an open an openish layup there but unfortunately wasn't able to get it up and i lose by one point which you know what it is what it is right 10 of 12 from the three-point line 30 of 39 from the field literally did not miss a single open or semi-open shot the entire game um and i almost won lose by one point it hurts that was annoying i was frustrated but i mean it was it was an interesting game i just will say it's nice that you can beat these dudes still. I feel like it's, it's it, I don't know. I don't think it actually makes them like unbeatable. People use the sense, but it is really frustrating that this is an actual feature that you have to deal with potentially in this game at times. And uh, sad part is I messaged this dude, Diasco. I was like, why are you cheating? He goes, no, nah, I'm just a better shooter. That's what he literally winds up saying at the end of this. It's it hilarious because I messaged him and look at the message that he responds with. Uh, this this makes me laugh. Um, can, I, can, can I go? Where is it? Is it up here? Where are my Xbox messages? It's not showing. It's not showing. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So I go up here and I say, uh, I say, here we go. Yeah. I could see, I, I said, why are you cheating? Why cheat? He goes, wow, that Oscar three almost won you the game. I said, I'm honestly wondering. He says, what do you mean? I'm just a better shooter, lol. This dude just greeted a ton of terrible shots. And you got better defense than just a better shooter. GG. <laughs> This made me laugh so much, honestly. I actually thought this was hilarious. It is sad that there are people in the community who play like this, though. So I just kind of want to call this dude out. Why are you cheating? Come on. Let's do better. You're not actually that terrible at the game, although you're not good. But you're not awful. Let's not cheat. Um, second of all, I don't know. It's still beatable. That's good. I, I will say it's nice to know that it's still beatable. That's a game I probably should have won. If I make a couple of my open shots, I win the game regardless of his cheating. So, unfortunately, I missed a couple of open shots. That's on me. I got to shoot the ball better. Regardless, I thought y'all would enjoy that game. I hope y'all did enjoy that game. A um, nice little sweaty close game. Yes, I wind up losing, but against somebody cheating as well. I just wanted to show y'all that. Hopefully, it gives y'all a good picture on how to effectively defend against somebody like this and also the things that I did wrong. I didn't X-switch enough. I should have X-switched more, to be honest. That last game winning shot, even if I had X-switched that with my center, I'd probably get a stop there because uh, he would have had to reset it up to KP with, and he would have had a mismatch, yes, but not very much time left. And I think I would have been in a very favorable position. So unfortunately, I, I could have played better and I certainly could have won the game, but it is entertaining for sure to play against a cheater and then see them try to defend themselves. Kind of funny as well. But regardless, don't cheat. Just don't do it, please.
It, 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 does, it, it doesn't make the game experience fun for your opponent at all, and I don't know if it makes the experience that much more fun for you either, because it's certainly not rewarding when you're winning by cheating. Regardless, I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate you all. Peace.